Uh, I would like to have gotten him in there earlier than the uh, seventh game of the season, but the opportunity wasn't there for it. Uh, so I thought Saturday was a perfect game for him. We needed him, and uh, we played really well in front of him, and when he needed to make the saves for us, he made them. So he's a phenomenal teammate. He, he came in here as a, as a walk-on and, and uh, um, you know, was a, was a huge part of our team last year, and he will continue to be this year and in his remaining years here. He's been prepared for it. He's still got a lot of friends, and, and you know, he had three great years at that university, so there's a lot of emotions attached to the weekend. Uh, anyone that gets to play in front of their you know, old team or go to your old place where you grew up, whatever it is, there's always some emotions attached to it or extra emotions attached to it. And uh, he's been looking forward to this one um, you know, for the right reasons. He's a very mature kid. He knows the importance of the games for us. Uh, it's not going to be a Kyle versus St. Lawrence. It's the Badgers versus St. Lawrence, and he'll be focused in on making sure he's doing everything he can this week to, to whether they're distractions or not. There, there's an extra excitement when you, when you get to play your old team. In, in all honesty, you don't sleep for four or five days leading up to it because you're so excited to get back. You want to have a good performance. When you, my first trade from uh, – um, the Rangers to the Kings, my first game back in Madison Square Garden. I remember leading up to that how, you know, you almost want to say, well, I want to show them that they should miss me and this is why they're going to miss me because I want to make sure I have a good game. But there's a lot of excitement leading up to it. Everybody's calling to welcome you back into town. There's lots of distractions and things that you can't control that will come into play with it. This was the first time we were forced to go to 5D. They handled it great. I thought Wyatt Kelnick, you know, was the one in particular that stepped up and, and you know, I mean, he played like an All-American. And and uh, for a young kid to, to recognize the fact that we probably lost our best defenseman and we're going to have to play without him for the last two-plus periods, somebody's got to step up here and t take on that responsibility. He handled it really, really well. Yeah, it's a good stretch. Uh, you know, last year for us, um, the home – uh, record wasn't what we wanted it to be. Uh, it was a, a, a lot of discussion over the summer and the start of the year on, on, uh, on our focus of making sure that we are a better home team this year. So this is a nice challenge for us that way. Uh, some of the parts last year were some of the distractions of, of playing at home. Some of the expectations as we were climbing uh, last year, uh, we thought we had to be a different team and be a, a more wide open team or we had to score or we had to perform differently at home. Uh, so hopefully for the learning things that we uh, – the mistakes that we made last year uh, at home ice, this is a good challenge for us to, to be ready. And, and uh, I think the maturity of our team and is uh, something that will be tested.